online poker, you're just going to be very comfortable playing for, for that kind of money. But once you finally clinched that first trophy, were you able to then go home and say, okay, uh, I remember this feeling at this time, or I remember doing something a little bit better than I had before, mm -hmm. and, and then you made that connection, or did anything like that occur for you? Yeah, it was definitely a matter of, of being willing to adapt and kind of, you don't, you don't want to go into these live tournaments with too much of a set strategy and, mm -hmm. and be too rigid, because you're going to face all types of different players. So kind of have a baseline theory, understanding how things should work, but you have to be willing to deviate from that because mm -hmm. players are not necessarily playing as they should mm -hmm. or as strategy dictates they should. So kind of the way you can exploit that is by showing up and paying attention mm -hmm. and really making sure you're watching every hand, you're picking up. There, there's an abundance of information when you're playing live poker, how much somebody bet, and then you see the showdown and kind of like picking up these little data points and then that, that lets you build this exploitative strategy where now that you know this person does this with this situational hand, it's, uh, th that was a big part of um, improving my live game, I think. Mm, Pay, mm -hmm. Showing up on time, paying attention, and just be, being ready to watch every hand.